Hi, welcome to 2020 Tasty Treats. We're having some fun with some dog appliques and we're getting very close to the end of this series. This series has been all about these dogs that are up here behind me and there's 20 in the series and we're up to dog number 19. So there's just a couple of spaces here for these to go in. I think these dogs are all looking amazing and I'm very happy that they're all friendly because otherwise dogs can be a little bit troublesome when they come en masse like that. So there's a pattern that's available through GourmetQuarter.com. It's a downloadable pattern. Each day there's a different dog for 20 days and the video to show how I'm putting them together. The um, shapes, there's, there's lines and things on the patterns that indicate stitching lines so that we can make it look like there's actually legs and things. Um, I've marked his eye and his nose. I've been using some permanent markers to do things like that and a white gel pen. I've got a light box that helps shine it through when I've got my shape on my paper already. And other than that, this dog is just, I've just sat him here. He needs to be ironed in place. He's actually all one piece. He's got an ear, but it's all just stitched in this one. Uh, but he is extraordinarily long. So he, what he lacks in numbers of pieces, he makes up for in length. So I'm going to free motion the applique. So I'm just putting a bit of cotton batting behind as my stabiliser. And I've got my machine set up for free motion. So feet teeth are down, little open toe free motion foot on. I've got a dark grey thread in there so it'll show up a little bit on the applique. And I think we'll come around his head and get that ear done. He's pretty straightforward, this little guy. Just long. So I'm just going to start here and come up. It's got a very long nose as well as a long body and amazingly short legs. Now where does that ear come? Does it come from the top? It goes around there. I can, I can only just see my lines because of the fabric. So this ear now comes down here. And it's just sort of a little bit of a wafty ear really. So I'm just going to come back around. Sort of silky, nice and soft looking this ear. now along the long back so really this is all very um, long <laughs> so I might just keep going and show you when I get to the other end because it's really all long so I'm nearly all the way around I've just got this last front leg to do here And we're back where I started. So this was a very straightforward long dog. So we'll give them a press. And we can pop him up on the board in the dog gallery, which is nearly full to capacity. nice to see some dogs looking one way and some looking the other way and some looking very surprised, poor guy. So that was it for dog applique number 19, only one more to go. I will see you again with the final one, number 20.